Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we'll be doing the performance testing of the newly launched Poco F6. So Poco F6 comes with uh, the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 uh, powerful uh, chip from Snapdragon. It, it makes a debut in India with this device. So let's just go to the about phone here. So you can see here Poco F6 and uh, you can uh, see the details here. Uh, device name and uh, this device comes with uh, uh, the Snapdragon 8s uh, Gen 3 powerful chip you can see here the max uh, uh, clock speed is 3 gigahertz and uh, it has Android uh, 14 uh, version and hyper OS and up to 12 gigabyte RAM which is expandable again so that's the hardware aspect LPDDR4 uh, 5x RAM and UFS 4.0 so it's a powerhouse in terms of hardware and it also comes with uh, a great experience for gamers so let's see how good the experience experience in terms of performance so let's do the performance testing so we'll be doing the cpu throttling test uh, then we'll go with uh, the stress test and to do benchmark geekbench then we'll do the storage test as well so before that if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so let's start with the cpu throttling test so there you go uh, we'll start the throttling test so we'll uh, set the values here so let's start uh, so we are right now in the performance mode there is an ultimate performance mode so we have set the performance mode so let's start the cpu throttling test So now we are done with uh, the CPU throttling test and you can see that uh, the CPU throttled to 85% of its max performance. So you can see uh, this is pretty good performance overall, 85% of its max performance. So you can see the graph, so it has been pretty good in terms of performance. So that's the CPU throttling test and uh, let's uh, go to the next test, the stress test. So we'll uh, go to the 3D Mark uh, Wildlife Extreme uh, Stress Test. So this is the test, so Wildlife Extreme uh, Stress Test. So it's a 20 round test. So we'll uh, start the test and see how it performs. Now we have completed the Wildlife Extreme uh, Stress Test and you can see here the best loop score is 3014 and uh, lowest loop score is 2619 and uh, you can see the stability is 86.9 percentage so that's quite good uh, value so you can see here the different uh, uh, loop values and the battery uh, went down from 71 to 59 percentage during the test around 12 percentage drop and temperature went uh, from 32 degrees to 46 degrees so 46 was the highest temperature and frame rate 11 fps to 22 fps so that's the wildlife extreme uh, stress test 86.9 percentage uh, the stability is a pretty good score for this device so that's the stability test next let's go to the antidote benchmark test and uh, you can see that the antidote benchmark test uh, uh, 14 lakh 67,811 is the score we have got you can see the GP score is really powerful so it's slightly lower than the uh, the Snapdragon 8 uh, Gen 2 uh, chip so this is the 8 uh, Gen 3 is slightly lower than that value so here also you can see here the 9.3 cent, uh, percentage uh, or rather degree increase uh, in terms of uh, and the bat, uh, the temperature 42.1 is the highest uh, temperature it reached and 6 percentage battery drop while doing the test so this is the uh, the ant2 benchmark test 14 lakh 67000 is the uh, value we got next let's see the storage test so we'll just uh, do the storage test as well so this is ufs uh, 4.0 uh, step out and uh, even the poco x6 pro did have uh, ufs 4.0 so this should be able to produce some really good result so you can see here uh, 1 lakh 64024 is the ufs uh, uh, 4.0 storage uh, speed you can see the sequential read sequential write and random access uh, uh, speed so this is pretty good once again next the next uh, one is the geekbench test so this is the final test you can see here the geekbench uh, value 1835 and uh, 4624 this is a single core score and multi core score once again it's slightly lower than uh, the 
the um, Snapdragon 8 uh, Gen 2. So 8 is Gen 3 is slightly lower than that value. So this is the performance testing of this device. So Android 2 and Geekbench Co. So that is a performance testing of the Poco S6. So, so it's pretty good device in terms of performance and really great uh, in terms of gaming as well. So that is the performance testing of the Poco F6. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.